Time. Let's touch up and have a good clean fight. Good job. Final instructions from referee Jim Santa. We are here to witness the further development of Miguel Cotto of Puerto Rico, 20 years old. This is his third professional fight. And they're calling him the next great one. Perhaps in reference to Felix Trinidad of Puerto Rico. A lot of pressure on this young man, but he does have tremendous skills, as we've seen in the first two fights of his professional career. He's taking on Wakleemi Young, also known as Kimmy Young, out of Scranton, Pennsylvania. And Cotto is a big, rangy fighter with a lot of speed, a lot of power, and a very patient fighter. For four years, he was known as the best amateur in Puerto Rico, a member of the Puerto Rican Olympic team in 1997, Cotto in the blue trunks, won a bronze medal in the Central American Tournament in Mexico City, then a gold medal in the regional tournament in Colombia, got great credentials coming in, he's working behind the jab right now, you can see he has tremendous stand-up, straightforward boxing skills. Young keeping his hands kind of wide there, which will probably leave him very vulnerable. This is scheduled for four rounds of lightweight action. Miguel Cotto of Puerto Rico, a large contingent of Puerto Ricans here in New York City, of course, and they came out to see him tonight. Also, they'll see another fighter tonight from Puerto Rico. Mr. Young trying to work behind his jab a little bit, then he covers up there. Cotto not doing much in this first round, except showing a lot of patience, a lot of ring generalmanship because he knows what he's doing in there until he tests the waters of his opponent tonight. His first fight professionally was in February 23rd of this year against Jason Duche. It went one round. He knocked him out. And then in March, we saw him against Jacob Godinez. That one went two rounds before Cotto knocked him out. And that was in Fort Worth. Cotto goes downstairs a little bit. Young is leaving himself wide open with some of his punches, and he's probably going to pay for that before this is over with as the referee, Jim Santa, steps in. Good footwork, good form. Everyone tells us that Cotto has the entire package, just a matter of him getting enough professional fights against better and better competition as he works his way up through the lightweight ranks. Nice flicking jab. It's starting to do some damage. Young trying to talk to himself a little bit, but he has no answer for this kind of speed he's looking at. Tremendous speed from Cotto. So far, just working basically behind his jab. Tried a little uppercut there that missed just below the chin of Kimmy Young. Final 10 seconds for the first round. Winding down. Good job. So there you have it. Miguel Cotto coming out, trying to get a little work in as he begins his professional career. He began to fight there, you see, in his corner. Always Evangelista Cotto, his father. Cotto began to fight at a very young age. 
following the family tradition for his father, uncle, brother, and cousin. <laughs> And they had taken the same path before him, and boxing is a family business in Dakota. And listen to the end corner now, the instructions. Well, that's Young's corner telling him to try to go underneath try to put pressure on Cotto, easier said than done when he's up against such boxing skills, fast hands, quick movement. Cotto has it all, and he has honed it very patiently as the best amateur in Puerto Rico. Now Young tries to impose his will a little bit, but he had to pay for it as he tasted that jab once again. Very hard flicking jab. Cotto working off his left hand almost exclusively as he tries a right hand there, and Young tries an uppercut inside. His corner told him to try to go up inside, and now Co Young is throwing wildly at Cotto, and they get into a clinch down low, kind of a tackle. But Young was really determined to try to unload there for a few seconds. Now he's covering up. But if he leaves himself wide open, he might face a very strong right hand that Cotto's been waiting to throw. As you see him holding it up against the side of his head there as he has it cocked and ready in case he needs it. Cotto began to be noticed about four years ago. But patiently, he wanted to make the Olympic team in Puerto Rico and did. And now he's just beginning a professional career. This is his third fight of this year. But he's not green in the ring by any stretch of the imagination. His amateur record was 95 and 23, so well over 100 fights as an amateur. Young trying to go downstairs somewhere. I don't know quite. There's a oh, good left to the chin of. Now the ref steps in. Young got a tag with a left, slight uppercut from Cotto. Cotto continues to press forward. Young tries to counter a good body punch there from Cotto and a nice little right uppercut. As Young is leaning in with his head which was providing a very <laughs> hittable target for Cotto. When Young opens up, he throws too far to the outside, which leaves himself wide open for Cotto to step in. And the referee steps in once again and pulls him off, warning about low blows and, and too much roughhousing in there. Cotto working the body off the left hook, very nice. Little uppercut that Young tried. He has been able to try to sneak that in there. He did land one earlier. But Cotto doesn't seem to be bothered by it. Continues to work deliberately. Taking what's given. Young is not able to initiate anything. He gets tagged with another hard jab there. He's taking a lot of hard punches down to the right rib cage, too. Right, right inside. Cotto likes to work inside like that if he can work the body up and down. There's another one. Right on the belt line. Young seems to be tiring a little bit. Final five seconds. That is the rule in New York. They have you a five-second warning toward the end of the round. Different rules for different states. Cotto getting a little more work in his third professional fight than he got in the first two. And that's what they want to do. They want him to get more work against stronger and stronger opponents because someday the day will come and we'll have to show what he's got as a professional. Let's take a look at some of the action from round two here. And you see Young back on his heels a little bit and gets caught with that left hook inside, a short left hook. And he tries the uppercut again. He's been trying that punch to try to sneak in below the radar of Cotto because he can't go straight at him because he has to pay too heavy of a price. So he, his corner was trying to get him to go in and try some sneaky little uppercuts. But the so far, out. the most effective the punches out. have been thrown by the young man from Puerto Rico. Some more of the work inside. There's that left, that hard left that landed right on the chin of Kimmy Young. We're in the third round of the schedule. Four round, lightweight action. You're getting a look, if you haven't seen him before, at Miguel Cotto of Puerto Rico, considered for about four years the best amateur in Puerto Rico. A lot of great things predicted, sometimes almost too many great things. We just 
allow him time to develop, get enough work in. This is his third professional fight. Nice exchange there. That straight jab is looking very effective, and Young misses on all those punches that he keeps trying to throw up. Keeps trying to throw straight up. There's a right hand that snuck in. Kimmy's gotten his body worked quite a bit by Cotto tonight. Oh, it was a good right hand. Cotto knew he landed a good punch there. That was an effective punch, and I believe <laughs> Kimmy Young felt that one. And he's, oh, he's grabbing a little bit. The referee's going to step in, tell him to step back. Once in the box, that punch was effective. He's still feeling the effects of it. Let's see what Cotto can do to finish it up. A little bit wobbly here is Mr. Kimmy Young as he tries to throw, pawing a little jab out there. But he's been feeling it's an accumulation of a lot of different effective punches that have come from the young man, Miguel Cotto, here. The crowd's behind Cotto. Wanting him to throw even harder punches, but he's showing a lot of patience because he's been able to land the jab pretty much at will, and those things will add up as the fight goes along. We're scheduled for four. We're in the third round. Nice body punch once again. And Young is looking more and more vulnerable as we move along. No punches, no punches, he tries to clutch a little bit. Young's a little bit tired. Tastes his lip to see if there's any blood on it. Nice body blow from Cotto over on the ropes. And Young is really starting to run out of gas. Let's see if Cotto can land the punches now and take care of business. Good right hand to the jaw. Back with the left jab, still working behind the jab. Oh, there's one off the clinch there. There's one dead on the nose. Again on the nose, again on the nose. Young is really taking some punishment now, but he hasn't gone down. But almost defenseless, good body shot downstairs as Cotto's been able to pretty much unleash whatever he wants to. There's a right hand, and if Young tries to counter, he pays the price. Too much quickness and too much power he's up against. But he has made it this far. But it's a matter of time for Cotto. Cotto's a very, very... Patient, last five seconds. Very, very patient fighter. Young really feeling a lot of effects in that round. A lot of hard shots, very effective jab. Cotto getting in some very good work in this fight. Cotto's just 20 years old, just getting started, but he already has two children, a boy, Luis Angel, who's four years old. And a girl, Alondra, who just turned one, his wife's name is Melissa. So he has a lot of, to fight for, a very young family. You see a frustrated young man, Kimmy Young. But it's not much he could do against a superior fighter. This will be the fourth and final round of this four-round lightweight fight. As we watch the further development, and I think people can see that all, though Miguel Cotto is a long way from that defining fight in his career, many more fights are coming. He certainly has a lot of boxing skills and a lot of savvy in the ring. Once again, a left hand straight to the chin of Young, who's trying to really come out in this fourth round and, and land that one punch that might get it done for him. He has hung in there very well against a superior boxer. Cotto has done pretty much the same thing. He's uh, taken what he's been given this entire fight. Young continues to throw that very ineffective jab of his. Not a thing behind it. You can tell he's obviously winded. And he's paid a lot of price, a lot of shots dead on the nose. He's having a little bit of trouble breathing right now. There's another one right to the nose. That's just been an open season with that left jab from Miguel Cotto. Referee telling Kimmy Young to try to fight, try to do something. If not, they could just throw the towel in there and get it over with. But he's been backed up many times. Downstairs and then uh, uh, going to get a warning on the blow. 
That was just a little bit low. I would have to see if it was really that low. I think Young taking advantage of the situation here because he's taking a lot of body shots down there. That was slightly south of the border. They're going to give him time to recover with about a minute and a half left. Apparently Jim Santa thought it was low enough to allow the fighter time to recover. Bakoto has been throwing a lot of punches down there. That's a good way to go if you can land them right on the ribs or on the belt line because it wears a fighter down makes him drop his hands. And Young has dropped his hands a little bit and now he's moving around a little bit. He probably has got figured out he's not going to win this fight. But he is still standing and that's something. Cotto's got a very wonderful footwork, classic boxing style. Young's holding on down around the ankles now, trying to survive this last round. Inside of a minute in the final round. But it's enjoyable to watch a young fighter like Cotto as he develops, and I know people will take more and more interest in him as he moves along. No punches, no stop. Don't hold. Let's box. Well, actually, he's not really holding. He's just trying to survive. Let's see if Cotto could finish it out in this. Well, pretty much Young has quit at this point. That's it. Young has quit. Somebody needs to uh, stop it because he's not fighting. He's wrestling. Stop. 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 Hey, Somebody in Young's corner needs to just because he's, he's done. The referee should step in and fight. That's enough. OK. All right. Let's go. If he wants to take more punishment, I think the referee stepping in and looking. But there's been no punches thrown from Young for over a minute. No punches thrown. He's just standing. There's a little bit of something. That's the, that's the name of that deal. Miguel Cotto throws a shutout here in his third professional fight. Kimmy Young getting water thrown in his head in the corner. He took a lot of punishment tonight. And Cotto's going to come over and say, you earned my respect. That's a nice gesture from the young man from Puerto Rico. Kimmy Young gave it all he had. He just doesn't have enough. We will await the final scorecards, but it's a it's a shutout. Just a matter of how they had some of the rounds. That was a somebody might say that was a 10-8 round there because here's some of the action. Well, maybe not. Miguel Cotto. Is he ready for the likes of uh, Mayweather or Corrales? Certainly not. Not at this point. You can't even go that far down the road yet. But it's there. A lot of skills are there down the road. It's just a matter of how patient they want to be with this young man. Got a classic style. Only 20 years old, but a very poised individual. This is his life. It's his family business. This is something he was born to do. And we will continue to watch him and see how... Well, it goes for him. Kind of tough when you're 20 years old and they're already calling you the next great one, but stranger things have happened. The one thing he did do in this fight is he didn't do anything unnecessary. He had to fight one, and he didn't go get wild. Uh, Kimmy Young, here's the decision. Scored about 40 to 36 for the winner by unanimous decision, Miguel Cotto. So Miguel Cotto wins by unanimous decision, showing a lot of technical skill tonight here in New York City in front of a, a crowd that has uh, got a lot of friends here, a lot of Puerto Rican people here to see this fighter. And there he is. Perhaps he is the next great one. Only time will tell. Hey, these fucking cannon you can throw in the fucking 